Hi, and welcome to Mike's Garage. So I got some new goodies that came in from Signature Solar. These are SPDs that are made by Midnight Solar. Now I have both the AC and the DC versions that came in. I'm gonna talk about them real quick and then get into how that I'm going to install them in my solar setup. All right, so let's begin. So what do you get inside the box? You have your SPD that came in. Uh, it does have three wires on it, so you have uh, red, black, and green for it. Uh, this one happens to be the uh, DC model. Now, this is good for 600 volts. They have a 300-volt version. I chose a 600-volt uh, version of this because uh, my solar panels are going to be wired up to put up 380 volts, and I wanted to make sure that I had one that can accept high enough voltage. So this is the one that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using five of them one for each string that's going in, connecting to my five inverters. It also comes with a uh, gasket, looks like a little bit of heat shrink tubing, and then a uh, lock nut for uh, the bottom on it. Now it's made to be mounted onto either a disconnect or onto a service panel. And I'm gonna uh, mount some on the disconnect, some on the panels. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Uh, and then it comes with a Pretty nice uh, instruction manual. One thing that I appreciate that Midnight Solar did, they have pictures. So thank you for that. For, for a lot of us, we kind of look at things and we can understand, you know, technically how you should do something, but a picture's worth a thousand words and I always like seeing that in there. So the manual is actually pretty good. Placement. So for the DC side, once again, I'm going to have five uh, uh, strings come in. It's going to be one for each inverter. I'm only going to use a single uh, MPPT controller on each one of the inverters, and I'm well under the, um, the maximum uh, wattage for them. So, like I said, they're good for 600 volts. Uh, they're DC. Here's one of my solar disconnects. Now this is going to be for my primary inverter over there, and it's going to have the most solar panels sending power to it. Uh, I think I showed that in my last video, the breakdown of how many watts are going to each one. But I'm going to have about 32 amps flowing to that inverter. And with that being the case, well, 30 to 32, with that being the case, I wanted to make sure that I had a disconnect that would be able to hold it. So I like using uh, name brand equipment wherever that I can. So this is a Siemens um, service disconnect. It is a heavy duty version. Why is that important? It has to have a horsepower uh, rating on it to be able to disconnect under load. So I see all these videos of people that have these uh, cheap solar disconnects that catch on fire. Well, not going to happen with that. Um, so this will handle 600 volts DC or AC, and then will handle 60 amps. So it would be perfect and has some safety built into it. You cannot open it up when it's turned on. You got to flip the arm down and off before you can open it up. So back to this. So this is going to be mounted up on top and I'll be able to see the, uh, the LED light on the inside showing that everything's good. And I'm gonna mount it similar fashion for each one of my solar disconnects. Now, for my AC, let me show you that. So for these three inverters, they're connecting to this service panel, which is going to essentially act as a combiner, if you will. And I'll have three 80 amp breakers and, um, you know, have the wiring go into this through conduit, all that good kind of stuff. But essentially when it's hooked up, this is how that I'm going to combine the three inverter output. Uh, and they're also going to have um, a parallel wire between the three to actually keep the, uh, the sine wave synced. Uh, but I'll mount once again, here's my uh, 300 volt AC version, and that's gonna, be mounted up on top. And then for my other system over here, this is the one that's for the shop. Once again, the two inverters will be going out into this uh, service panel, which is essentially a combiner. And then once again, uh, I'll have it mounted up on top. And then the output of that would then go into the service panel here. 
So what does the SPD do? Um, it's essentially a surge protector. So if on the DC side, more than 600 volts comes in, it is going to send that additional uh, voltage to ground to keep that voltage spike from damaging my inverters. On the AC side, uh, it will be 300 volts. So for some reason, if something went south with the inverters, don't expect it to happen. But if something did and it sent out excessively high DC voltage, like I said, I, I don't see that happening. And, and the uh, chance of it happening is extremely slim. Uh, so what it will do is it will then reduce the voltage down to 300. Hence, it will help save devices. Uh, the other thing that it can do as well is that if I have these uh, long runs from, say, the shop to the house, and it's, say, a 100-foot run, and let's just say that voltage was induced onto the burial wire for some reason, it will help protect my inverters from uh, any sort of feedback from that. So a lot of protections that are built in, and there's still more to go. So I'll have other videos. This one's supposed to be dedicated on the SPDs that I have here, but I'll have more videos on disconnects and also on my uh, fire suppression systems that I'm going to be mounting. So a bunch of goodies. That's going to be separate videos, but I did want to kind of talk about the SPDs that are made by Midnight Solar, kind of what they do, what they look like, what the instructions uh, come with. And uh, yeah, I definitely recommend getting these. Everybody that has them, you know, talks very, very highly of them. They're not cheap by any means, but they're not terribly expensive to where, you know, they're completely unaffordable. But having a surge protector here is really good. And, and um, it's also not a bad idea for your... Um, for your main panels to also have, you know, have like a uh, surge protector there. I don't think it's going to be as good as what uh, uh, what Midnight Solar has as far as its suppression capability, but you can never have enough protection. So that's it. Thanks again for watching Mike's Garage. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.